What up, what up? Hey guys, Megan Lynn here, Spiritual Empress. How is everybody? It's been a freaking minute. I am so sorry. I've been away from the channel. Uh, and also I have this like, God, communication issues lately. I have this like tickle in the back of my throat. So if I'm coughing a bunch, that's what it is. But I have been away for a while and that is because Aquarius and Sagittarians are freaking crazy. <laughs> I think we're the only people that could pull this crap off, but I've been everywhere, okay? I went all over the country for the last better part of a year, and that was all fueled by Sagittarius and I just going, we did a whole up the West Coast trip for a month, so we were gone for a whole month, and we just came home, and our lease was going to be up in a few weeks, and we're just like, let's just sell everything and get a camper and travel for a year, so that's what we did because we're psychopaths, uh, but now we're, we're back in Phoenix, and we're just settling down, so I'll be, I'll be more on the channel, I'm more wanting to do this full-time now, just because it's been so long, and I did miss you guys, so, uh, so we're gonna do Aquarius March reading, also, if you guys would like to book private, uh, sessions or personal readings, I do all kinds of readings, okay, so, uh, just email me, it's wmegan, m-e-g-a-n, 939 at gmail.com, and then thank you for likes, comment, shares, subscribes, of course, that's, how we get kind of seen on the platform so if you guys could hit the like button i would really appreciate it but aquarius for march let's get into it march is going to be kind of a bichacha okay <laughs> we have the pisces moon now the pisces moon has pretty much knocked most people on their ass like all the signs okay it's going to affect uh sagittarius taurus virgo and pisces the most so if you have those in your top three okay your top three signs like your sun moon rising it's going to affect you a little bit more i know i have a virgo moon so i'm in op direct opposition with pisces so for me it's been a mess that pisces moon is going to bring in a lot of fogginess okay a lot of miscommunication it, i'd almost akin it to a mercury retrograde except you will be getting a lot of psychic downloads okay you may be having really really crazy dreams the thing with these psychic downloads, though, is instead of it making you more intuitive or being like a aha, like an insight, instead of it doing that, it's actually going to confuse you more, okay? <laughs> so you'll want to take on more of a Taurian energy this month, uh, do a lot of grounding, however that is, taking walks. Uh, for me, I'm going to use it physically because I'm a physical grounder, so like for me, I have to do something physical, uh, but anything that gives you like small pleasure will actually ground you. So uh, maybe that's you watching your trash TV and eating snacks. I don't know what it is. Just make sure that you do that because the Pisces moon, I mean, ruled by you've got Neptune, you got illusions, you know, things like that. It's going to make a lot of people feel very confused. So also you're going to be less focused. So be very cognizant of time management. Okay. You could have all the time in the day at, to get something done. And then when you go to do it, it's just like, Nope, I don't want to do that, or I don't have the energy to do that, or something like that. That's this month, so uh, just try to manage your time if you can. But again, you're not probably going to be the most organized person for the rest of this month. So, boo, sorry, sucky Pisces moon, but uh, that's how it's going to be. So let's just get into Aquarius's reading. Like I said, if you guys want personals, I do all kinds of personals, so just email me. Um, and uh, we'll get get that set up for you. Why are we all reversals today? This is interesting. What is going on? I think that it's definitely this Pisces moon. <laughs> okay, I don't know if you guys are moving on from something or from someone. You have the Knight of Swords in the reverse. Oh, no, Nava Swords in the reverse. So I don't know why. I'm getting really weird vibes from this. And it's just because of the conjunction of all these cards together. I feel like somebody's not telling you something. Somebody's not telling you the truth. Or whatever it is, it looks like whatever the situation is, whether it's with you and business or with you and another person, you have the uh, Nava of Swords in the reverse, you have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, and you have the Six of Cups in the reverse. You're not looking very fondly at some sort of situation right now, okay? Again, it could be you're in a fog. Um, it could be I'm also getting commute for some reason here in communication. Communication's really off right now. It looks like something's not bringing you happy and you're not looking at whatever is going on right now back very fondly, okay? 
So whatever happened, you could also be at a loss for some reason. Like you're at a loss for something. Like you don't know what to do anymore because, I, I mean, it's easy to hang on to like situations and things like that if you have those memories of the good times. But it looks like for you right now, you're just kind of looking back on like, okay, well, I say you wanted to make something work in a situation because you saw the potential in it. This is the opposite of that, okay? It's kind of like, okay, now I feel like I'm kind of beating a dead horse. That's kind of what I'm getting out of this. Yeah, I've, I'm just getting a lot of mental confusion. You have a hangman in a reverse too. I'm just seeing a lot of miscommunication and a lot of it has to do with money. Always. It's always like, isn't it always like that? I feel like life's always about like love or money. There's like no in between. <laughs> you either gotta be heart centered or just like a bitch and money focused, okay? Um, it looks like you guys are not uh yeah, it looks like a bunch of confusion is going on with the situation. And somebody too is confused about money or making money, getting more money. That's the focus of either you you or this other person, okay? It's more on and also waiting for investments to come in right now, because right now this person does, oh, that could be the miscommunication too. They're not communicating about money, property of the queen of pentacles in reverse. Either y'all, either they're broke, okay, or they've lost money and they're trying to maybe recoup that money, okay? So it looks like that's, that's kind of what they're focused on right now is the coin. Because um, right now they could have had a financial loss. Um, sometimes that's gambling too. When I get a bunch of coins, I always think of like gambling. Um, this person's not also standing in their power too. And a lot of people who are, I'm not this way because to me, money is very fluid and my whole life, everything's very finite. So when I have feast or famine, it's like, I appreciate both of those things, but somebody who's just focused on money can become kind of obsessed with it. And that's kind of what I'm seeing here is they're not really feeling in their power. And they're also, um, when people feel like that and then they're trying to hold on to something more, sometimes that messes with the energy. So that could be, again, you are the other person. And I feel like that's miscommunication too. You're focused on emotion. It seems like you're focused, if, if this is you, one or the both of you, it's focused on getting to the bottom of the truth. And having an emotional understanding of what's going on in this situation and this other person is focused on something completely different okay and that's what happens with a lot of relationships in general okay so it looks like you y'all are on two different pages here and there's a lot of confusion because it's like two different freaking people okay two two different ways of operating okay the one person's focused on if we get to the truth of the matter we have an emotional understanding, then we can move forward and be successful. Now, the other person's understanding of what success is, is money, okay? Or being focused, financially stable, things like that. They think if they focus on the finances, that's gonna fix all the other problems when that's not necessarily money, it's not money. I'm not gonna say money can't buy happiness, okay? I think that's a bullshit saying, but <laughs> it's like a, a money, essentially can't buy you happiness okay it's not gonna make you feel good on it'll make you feel comfortable and safe and stable but it doesn't help fulfill you like uh i don't know like fulfill your soul let's say something stupid like that i don't know but uh, it just looks like you're like hey we're crap right now in this situation because we're not communicating effectively all right we're on different different emotional intelligence levels okay this person's like if we have more money, if we have all the things, then things will be right. When really that's not necessarily true. So let's get more Queen of Pentacles. Do you have the justice card for something? So you guys might be receiving some justice for some situation. Yeah, because whatever the situation is with this other person or if it's a business partnership or a business Looks like you are, and also with the justice card, could be judicial kind of situations that you're going to receive justice in. So if you guys have court or if you have um, anything like that, it looks like you're going to be getting justice in some sort of situation. Because it just see, I'm seeing with like all these cups knocked over, it just seems like something has been very traumatic or um, has really kind of hurt you. Uh, you have the nine of wands clarifying that with the justice. So you're definitely coming out of some battle, okay? 
and you will be getting justice in a situation. So good on you. I like the nine of wands in reverse. I think we, I, I think I hate the, the nine of wands and then I get so many damn swords, but I think Aquarius is just gets, we just get stabbed in the back fucking all the time. So, but yeah, if you guys are dealing with anything with court, there is going to be justice in this situation. Also, you have the nine, knight of wands in the reverse. Oh, if you're interested in love. If you're interested in love, you have the knight of wands in reverse. And you have the Queen of Swords. This, again, is uh, this going back to your communication, okay? Queen of Swords is very freaking cutting. The Queen of Swords is the biggest badass of the queens, save for the Empress, okay? So, um, she knows what she wants. She's about truth, and she surrounds herself with truth. And, look, if you're going to be a little Nine of Wands in reverse, and you're not going to come to me freaking correct, it's off with your head, okay? So, that's what it looks like if you're looking for love. That's this situation right here. Um, Queen of Swords. Swords also they equate to Aquarius. Uh, I would assume that that would be your card. And then you have a Knight of Wands, which is not communicating, okay? When this is in the reverse. Not being an effective communicator. Uh, moving slowly. Kind of dragging their feet. Kind of having some fuckboy energy, okay? Because, like, wands are very sexy, you guys. Maybe this is somebody who's very good looking and they they just, like, you know... They like to be a play a play a whatever, okay? It looks like that's kind of the energy they're giving off now. Not to say it is actually, if it is a relationship, it is an infidelity. It's just giving off fuckboy vibes, okay? And, you know, you fuck around and you find out sometimes. So, it looks like that's kind of what's going on for March, okay, currently? I'd like to see, like, a moving forward, though. Yeah, and then you have the two of wands here. And coin. This is just about sending, somebody is going to be sending something out, uh, some communication, um, not necessarily, or you guys are like waiting on each other, okay? You're like waiting on each other, waiting for this to get sorted out. It also could have to do with this justice card. And then, then you can go ahead and move forward, but it looks like you guys are just going to be patient right now, okay? Just be patient at this time. Um, safe to say, patience is always, to me, key. I always find that a very good tool, like, uh, and that's because I'm a projector. I have to wait is my strategy anyway. So sometimes you just have to wait for things to blow over. It looks like with whatever is going on. Yeah, and then you have the Knight of Swords in reverse. So you guys are just going to be kind of waiting on each other right now. It seems like it has a big thing to do with this. Big thing to do with money. And that's causing the biggest problems right now is because you're trying to fix this problem potentially. But you guys are on completely different tracks right now. It's like... Money will make this better. Concerned about money. This other person's like, let's get emotionally stable together and we will be successful. This person's like, nah, give me the coins. And then uh, the justice thing, it looks like that's also causing a lot of stress. So if you guys are going through court, anything like that, yeah, you'll be getting some justice in it or the whole situation will be getting justice and, and it looks like you will be coming out of this. So current, currently for love, I'm going to say you guys kind of like respect, okay? Like you guys just kind of like be patient with each other if that's the only thing you can do. If you're the emotional one, like I know in my relationships, I tend to be the more, more like mentally focused and being emotionally sound and then I'm successful. So that would be me. But if you have somebody, you guys are like, you know, you can't come to an agreement on something like that. It looks like you guys will be coming out of this as soon as this justice happens, okay? Um, for right now, though, be as patient as you can with the person. Understand you guys just have maybe two different love languages, okay? So, all right, Aquarius, that's what I have for you for March. Again, if you'd like to book readings, uh, I'm like I said, I'm doing this a little bit more full-time now. I miss the channel a lot, so I'm trying to come back. And also, things you guys want to hear about, drop in the comment box below because I'm doing funny videos, y'all. I don't like, I can't sit and do cards all day. I have to, like, do something funny, and I'm a part of an astro community, and we just razz each other all day about all the signs. So if you have something funny that you want to hear about, drop it in the comment box below. And I love you guys. We will talk soon. Bye.